This is Sylvia Sarabhi. Today I am going to speak on strategies to develop game-based learning. Friends, we come across children who are having learning difficulties. Difficulty reading and spelling phonetically, difficulty in expressive language, difficulty in visually sequential learning. There are some games that can not only improve their academics but will also make it fun and an interesting manner. So the first game I would like to show is Phonic and Tapshing. This is a wonderful and a lovely game. In this game, the teacher can give a word like this. B, E, S, T. Best. So in this, the second person will have to say a word ending with the letter T, which is rhyming to this word. B, E, S, T. Best. And the word is Chest. T, E, S, T. So you can see it's rhyming. Best. Test. This is one game in which the child can improve the vocabulary. The next game we have is clapping hands. Children love clapping hands and making noise. This is a wonderful game to teach them reading and spelling phonetically. So we start with an easy word and that is bat. B A T bat. Now how do a child read and spell it phonetically? So we'll do it by clapping hands. A, A, T, bat. And do it again. A, A, T. Now the teacher can request the children to do it along with the teacher. A, A, T, bat. So in this way, the child will listen attentively and carefully how many times the teacher has clapped hands. A, A, T. This is a simple word. Now we can go to a more complex word. And that is computer. Now when you hear the word, you say, oh my goodness, computer is such a difficult word. But if you teach them through clapping hands, it will be much more easier. So let's do it. Computer. How do you clap hands? Computer. Okay. The next game is market game. In this game, they not only can build sentences, but it will improve their thinking skills. Now, this game, as you see, it's market. Market, the teacher can give any topic. It can be fruits, vegetable, or anything you get in the market. We'll start with fruits. The teacher can start with a sentence, I went to the market, I brought apple. Now, the next person will have to say the sentence plus another sentence. That is, the I went to the market, I brought apple. Banana. Like this, every student will have to repeat the sentence and add another fruit. This will help them say the sentence and improve their thinking skills. Now we have games which will improve their expressive language. As you can see, these are the W's question. It's a very interesting thing. When you see the W, who, what, where, why, when. In this, you can show a picture. I have a picture of a fruit. Now we can use the W question and ask the children. Now you can start with one W. What is this you can see in the picture? Now the children will immediately say, I can see a pineapple. And the teacher will say, okay, fine, that's excellent. And now we'll go to the next question. Who likes pineapple? We get different replies. Here all the children will participate joyfully and they will say oh i like pineapple it is yummy and some children will say oh i hate pineapple it is yucky it is so watery so you'll get different replies in this the children will be able to build confidence and say sentences now from this we can move on to a picture which is relating to their studies in english they have this picture and we can ask the question again who is this? So they will think and see the picture. Immediately they say, yes, it's Condi Bar, a hero. And then we can go on and the children will say, oh, he's wearing something. Black, black. What is that? Again, the question W. What is that? Oh, it's a black specs. Now the next question can come. Why is he wearing that black specs? Something must have happened to him. 
then you can get the answer. Oh, he is blind. Yes, you can go on to the next picture relating to the lesson. And that is well. Okay, something happened in that well. Who fell in the well? W question, who? And that they come to an answer. Arvin fell in the well. And then you can also get incentives and rewards after every game that will motivate and encourage the children to do much, much better. Friends, I hope that learning these games will not only improve their children's academics, but will make it more fun and interesting manner. And I assure you that you will get full participation of the children and their attention to you. And they will look forward for the next lesson. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe!